right, so again, this is 2.3 part two. Um, we're still looking at complex numbers, um, and but today we're gonna be focusing on complex conjugates. So when you are dividing or finding, like simplifying a fraction that has complex numbers in the denominator, you are going to take the complex conjugate of your denominator and multiply it by itself and the numerator, which just means if you have something in a plus bi form, that it would end up being a minus bi as the conjugate. So if we look at the first set of examples, we're multiplying each complex number by its complex conjugate. With these, again, we're gonna find the conjugate of it first and then multiply. So to find the conjugate, you're gonna keep the first and the last term and just change the sign that's between them. So with a, we have one plus i. We're gonna put parentheses around that and multiply it by one minus i. So that way we have the conjugate of it. From here, we're just gonna foil it out. So one times one is one. The one times negative i is negative i. i times one is positive i. And i times negative i is negative i squared. We said in part one that i squared is equal to negative one. So this i squared here, this negative i squared, is going to turn into a minus negative 1. Your i and your negative i are opposites, so they're going to cancel, and that 1 drops down. So you just have 1 minus negative 1. Those double negatives turn into positives, so you're doing 1 plus 1, which gives you 2. So your whole idea with these, with, by multiplying by the complex conjugate, is to make sure that you do not have an i left over. If you have an i left over in your like ending expression, then you know that you've done something wrong. For example b, we have 4 minus 3i. So again, we're going to put parentheses around that 4 minus 3i. We're going to keep the 4, keep the 3i, but change the sign in the middle of them. Instead of it being subtraction, it's going to be addition. So from here, we just multiply or FOIL it out. Your 4 times 4 gives you 16. The 4 times 3i is positive 12i. Negative 3i times 4 is negative 12i. And negative 3i times positive 3i is a negative 9i squared. Your like terms combine and cancel out since they are opposites. So that 12i minus 12i is just 0. We can, like I said, cancel them out. You're going to have 16 minus 9. That i squared is negative 1, so we're going to multiply that negative 9 by negative 1. A negative times a negative is a positive, so that's just 16 plus 9, which gives us 25. The next part goes over simplifying these fractions that have your complex numbers in the denominator. By doing so, we're going to take the complex conjugate of your denominator and multiply both the numerator and the denominator by it. It will cancel out your i in the denominator, which is what you're looking for. You cannot have an i in the denominator in your answer. So if we look at this example, we're given 2 plus 3i over 4 minus 2i. We're writing the quotient, so we're dividing these in standard form. So our answer must be in the form of a plus bi. So we're going to start with... The 2 plus 3i over 4 minus 2i. I'm going to put parentheses around my numerator and my denominator to begin with. My denominator is 4 minus 2i, so the complex conjugate of that would be 4 plus 2i. Whatever we do to the bottom, we must do the top. So we're going to multiply the top by 4 plus 2i at the same time. We're foiling out both the top and the bottom here. So 2 times 4 up top gives us 8. The 2 times 2i is 4i. 3i times 4 is 12i. And 3i times 2i is 6i squared. This is all over your 4 times 4, which is 16. 4 times 2i is 8i. The negative 2i times 4 is negative 8i. And 2i times negative 2i is negative 4 i squared. From here, we're just going to simplify. To combine your like terms up top, you're going to have 8 plus 16i 
plus 6, that i squared is negative 1, so we'll multiply that 6 by negative 1. On the bottom, to combine like terms, your 8 i's are opposite, so they cancel. We're going to be left with 16 minus 4 times i squared, which is negative 1. From here, we multiply that negative 1 by the 6 up top and by the negative 4 on the bottom. That's going to give us 8 plus 16i minus 6 <coughs> over 16 plus 4. From here, we combine like terms. So up top, the 8 minus 6 gives you 2 plus 16i. On the bottom, the 16 plus 4 is 20. You do need to simplify this. Your 2, your 16i, and your 20 are all divisible by 2. So 2 gets divided by 2 becomes 1. 16i gets divided by 2, it becomes 8. 20 gets divided by 2, it becomes 10. So that's going to give you 1 plus 8i all over 10. If we look at some extra examples, for the first one we have negative 5 over 4i. You can rewrite this and let, make sure that it's negative 5 over 0 plus 4i. That'll give you what you're looking for on the, the bottom, so that way you can find the conjugate of it. So if we put parentheses around the bottom and the top, we're going to make it 0 minus 4i as the conjugate, and multiply the top and the bottom by that. From here, if you realize that the 0 you don't need, you can cancel out or cross it out and just multiply the negative 5 up top by the negative 4i, which gives us positive 20i. And then on the bottom, the 4i times negative 4i, which is negative 16i squared. That i squared is negative 1, so we're going to rewrite that as 20i over negative 16 times negative 1. The negative 16 times negative 1 is positive 16, so that's 20i over 16. Both your 20 and your 16 are divisible by 4, so 20 is going to turn into 5. The 16 turns into 4, so that gives you 5i all over 4. For the second one here, we have 9 over 5 plus 8i. So I'm going to put parentheses around the denominator and the numerator, and then find the conjugate of the denominator. So my 5 is going to stay, it's going to turn into subtraction, my 8i stays. So I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by 5 minus 8i. I distribute the 9 in up top, so 9 times 5 is 45. The 9 times negative 8 is negative 72. We keep the i attached to it. On the bottom, you have 5 times 5, which is 25. Then 5 times negative 8i is negative 40i. 8i times 5 is positive 40i. And 8i times negative 8i is negative... 64i squared. From here, we simplify. Up top, you can't simplify anything. But on the bottom, you have like terms of with those 40i's, which are opposites, so they cancel. You also can simplify that i squared to be negative 1. So that's going to give you 45 minus 72i over 25 minus 64 times negative 1. That negative 64 times negative 1 is positive 64. So that's 45 minus 72i over 25 plus 64. We're going to add on the bottom, and that's going to give us 45 minus 72i over 89. You do not have any like terms here that you can simplify this by, or factors, sorry. So that's going to be your answer. For our number 41, we have negative 7 minus 6i over negative 2 plus i. Again, putting parentheses on the numerator and the denominator. Your denominator, your negative 2 is going to stay. Your addition turns into subtraction, and that i stays. So we're going to multiply the top and the bottom by negative 2 minus i. We're going to foil this out on the, both the top and the bottom. So negative 7 times negative 2 is 14. Negative 7 times negative i is positive 7i. The negative 6i times negative 2 is positive 12i. And negative 6i times negative i is a positive 6i squared. This is all going to go over 
your negative 2 times negative 2, which is 4. From here, the negative 2 multiplies with the negative i, which gives you a positive 2i. Then your i times your negative 2 is negative 2i. And then your i times your negative i is negative i squared. So from here, you're just simplifying. Your 7i plus 12i gives you 19i, so that's 14 plus 19i. That i squared is going to give you a positive 6 times negative 1. On the bottom, your two i's are opposite, so they cancel. And that i squared is negative 1. So you're going to have 4 minus negative 1. Double negatives turn into positives. Up top, you're going to have six, or sorry, 14 plus or minus 6, because that negative 1 is going to turn that positive 6 into a negative. So 14 minus 6 gives us 8 plus 19i, all over 4 plus 1 which is 5. You cannot simplify that, so that's your answer. For number 42, we have 4 over 5 minus 10i. So I'm going to put parentheses around my numerator and my denominator, multiply by 5 plus 10i on both the top and the bottom. So up top, it's going to give me 20 plus 40i. On the bottom, if you haven't realized by now, what's going to end up happening is your two middle terms are going to cancel out. So you're literally just taking your 5 and squaring it minus your 10i and squaring it. So that could th make things a little bit easier for you. Up top, you're going to keep just the 20 plus 40i. On the bottom, you're going to have 25 minus 100i squared. That i squared is negative 1, so if we multiply the negative 100 by the negative 1, it's going to turn into a positive 100. And you're going to have 20 plus 40i all over 25 plus 100, which is 125. These are all divisible by 5. So 20 turns into 4, 40 turns into 8, the, 25, or the 125 turns into 25. So this is going to give you 4 plus 8i all over 25. For number 43, you have 10 minus i over 5 minus 10i. So I'm, again, I'm going to put parentheses around my numerator and my denominator and multiply both of these by 5 plus 10i. <coughs> so if I FOIL this out up top, I'm going to have 10 times 5 is 50 plus 100i minus 5i minus 10i squared over my 5 squared minus my 10i squared. So up top, I'm going to combine my like terms and simplify that i squared. It's going to give me 50 plus 95i minus 10 times negative 1 all over the 5 squared is 25 minus 10i squared is 100i squared. So from here, again, we're still just simplifying. This turns into 50 plus 95i plus 10 all over 25 plus 100 because your i squared is negative 1. So it changes the sign on that 100. So then if we're still simplifying, that 50 plus 10 up top is 60 plus 95i all over 125. We can simplify these numbers by dividing them all by 5. Your 60 is going to turn into 12. Your 5 goes into 95. Uh, 5 goes into 9 once with 4 left over. So 45, that's 19i. And then your 125 is 25. So you have 12 plus 19i all over 25.